Hello, guys. Good morning, Master Luton. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Who has already started on their uh, schoolwork for today? Raise your hand. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, guys. You guys are being proactive and productive. I love it. Good. Okay, so we still have a couple more minutes before we start. Um, we are going to go through chapter nine, or ch I'm sorry, we did chapter nine yesterday. We're going to do chapter 10. And then if we have time, we'll keep going and we'll do chapter 11 also. Okay, so we'll go through that today. We'll do that. Okay, um, remember for this meeting, try to have your name, the student's name in the description. Um, have yourself muted when you want to answer a question, unmute yourself. Guys, remember if you're unmuted, um, please be very respectful of everybody else who's on the meeting, um, <clears throat> trying to listen and trying to answer questions and things like that. And uh, a lot of you guys who are already on here are my super involved ones. I love, I love, I love the people who are on these meetings who always try to answer questions and um, stay really involved on it. So I appreciate that. Austin, do you have a question? I unmuted you. Go ahead. Um, yesterday was my fifth match app, but I had to leave because I had to do schoolwork. Okay. I will make sure you are on there for that list. And Ms. Soraya, I just saw your note that today is your fifth one. So good job, Austin and Soraya. Thanks for joining us. Now, once you guys hit your five, make sure you stay on here. Because the whole point of me sending you that book is so you guys can learn the whole book and then keep it to be able to look back at it again, put your own notes, things like that. And, um, so make sure you guys keep coming on here after you hit your, I think everybody has. We've been uh, each meeting growing a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. So um, I know you know my goal is for us to have 100 people on this mat chat. And then the way it's going to work is this, this caps out at 100 people. So um, it'll only be the first 100 are allowed on here and then anyone else has to watch it um, from YouTube, which it does stream live from YouTube. They just can't interact the same way. So, uh, so we'll go from there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share this to YouTube and we will get started. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of new announcements. We have our normal, um, our class schedule is still the same. I'm going to review that one time at the, at the end. Um, we do have, we're adding Saturday classes. We did add, so we have a 10 o'clock for all GUP students and 11 o'clock for all Tigers and Dragons. Um, we did add a master's class Monday at 5 and a leadership class Wednesday at 5. 6 p.m. is a family class. So if you ever cannot make your normal scheduled class, hop on that family class, all ages, all ranks. And that one's actually been pretty small. Um, it's been pretty small, so we've been able to give a lot of individual attention. Again, everyone in that class last night um, is, is earning stripes and, and doing really well. Um, what else? Um, everything that we do video-wise has uh, been put on YouTube, so it's on there. Um, yes, Keelan? <clears throat> um, I can't change my name because it automatically puts me in with the same name. Are you on your computer or, uh... I'm on my mom's laptop, so okay. this is why. Okay, is she, does she have a Zoom account? Are you signing in? Um, I can't. It just automatically puts me in here because we have your code. Okay, so, um, a lot of times when you go to type in the code, um, it might automatically generate it. Um, I know on like the Galaxy, Miss Dana looked at that, there's a little drop down arrow. When you're typing in the code, there's like some other options. And one of the options was to change your name. So I, I'm sure it, there is definitely a way to do it. Um, I just, uh, every device is a little bit different, but it's not a big deal. Um, I kind of go through, so sometimes you might have to let me know who it is. Now, if your name is not on there, I need you to be extra careful about tracking your stuff because we're not, we might miss you checking in attendances and stuff like that. So be extra careful with your attendance log um, and those kinds of things. Okay. Um, Caleb Ricks, do you have a question? Yeah, so I think this is my seventh meeting and I don't have the book. So do we have to pick it up or are you going to deliver it? No, so we've, um, we've mailed out a bunch of them. 
And then we have another big order of them coming in. So I actually ordered 50 more of them. Um, I think I have 20 people who are waiting for books right now. Um, as soon as they come in, they will, they will get that in a, um, 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 so we're just waiting for them to ship out. Some of them have already been sent. Uh, I know that the, through Amazon, the delivery was a little bit delayed. So it was like estimated delivery was April 1st or April 12th or something like that. Um, and the other ones, we did a bulk order and they're all coming to the studio and we're sending those out. So those have not come in yet. Um, so it probably won't be until the end of next week that you guys get your books, which I, you know, don't love because uh, I want you guys to have them beforehand. But if you follow along with everything that we're talking about, you can go back through the notes. If you have your own, um, I know there have been a few of you guys have been really good about taking notes. So write down your notes and then, uh, and then you can always go back once you get the book after we're done with the meetings, even after we're done with the book, um, you can go back through and put notes in as you want to, where you want to. So you can do that. All right, so yes, I do have you on my list though, and I'll double check that. But I think that yours was already sent out. Um, okay, any other quick questions? Questions. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with a recap so far of the book. So who wants to help me? Tell me, uh, who wants to help me run a recap? Who can tell me something they've learned so far from the book? Miss Skyler. Go ahead, Skyler. Um, thinking positive instead of thinking negative. Yes, thinking positive instead of thinking negative is what this whole book is about. Good, Skylar. Darius. Being positive. <laughs> Hello, little brother. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Darius, you said thinking positive? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, absolutely. What to say when you talk to yourself is saying positive things to yourself, thinking positive. That's the whole point of this book. Good. Caleb? The positive self-talk or negative self-talk controls you. Yes, that's huge. Yeah, so of course we, wanna, we want to think positively, but it's really important to understand that whatever you're saying to yourself Whatever you're thinking, whatever you're telling your brain, that's what's gonna control you. So if you're saying all negative things, you're being controlled in a negative way and not in a successful way, right? And if you say positive things, then you're guiding yourself towards success and developing, um, building yourself as a successful person. Luca? Um, that you always do positive, you always tell yourself positive self-talk. Very good, very good. Hannah? Go ahead and I unmuted you. Um, seventy-seven percent of people here or have um, uh, like bad, like negative thoughts, and here like knows. Yeah, seventy-seven percent of what we take in is negative. So that can be um, what we hear, what we see, all of those things. Seventy-seven percent of it's negative. Good job. That is right, Rihanna. Your brain is smarter than a computer. Yes, our brains. Kind of like a giant computer, a giant control room that, um, that commands our whole body in the way that what we become, who we are. And um, so everything that we feed our brain, just like typing it into a keyboard or putting in programming, um, determines who we are. And it's more intelligent. Our brain is more intelligent than even the most advanced computers. Hayden? Um, I've learned that a lot of the negative talk that we hear is just... Well, not a lot of it, but some of it's just like people's opinions and that we hear a lot of our negative thoughts unconsciously. Good. That's very good. Yeah. So a lot of times the negative things that we have thoughts about are not things that we realize where went into our brain programming, but everything that we take in with our five senses goes into our programming. So, um, so yeah. Uh, and a lot of that stuff is somebody's opinion or... Um, somebody's belief or things like that that we take in as a fact. Um, so good. Okay, any last ones before we go into this chapter? All right, then we'll go ahead and get started with where to put my book with chapter 10. So chapter 10 is talking about a new look at positive thinking. Chapter 10. Okay, um, so he talks about uh, another book, The Power of Positive Thinking. Um, and when that book came out, um, a lot of a lot of, um, of psychologists dismissed the idea of positive thinking and said that it was not as, 
powerful and, uh, um, as people believed it to be. So um, uh, it was dismissed by a lot of people and seen as like kind of that it was wishful thinking and that it was delusional and um, that that couldn't determine you being successful or not. So that's what a lot of people believed. And then they actually started studying it. They actually started studying the brain and the effects of positive thinking on the brain. Um, the neuron structure is what they, they studied. So they scientifically proved that, um, that when you are thinking positive thoughts, you are using the, I'm not, I don't want to say any of this wrong. You're using the left, um, yeah, the left prefrontal cortex of your brain, okay? They proved that the more positive thoughts you have, your brain develops more um, neurons in that portion of your brain, okay? So that kind of means that it's strengthening your brain, building your brain in that area, the area that controls the positive thoughts, the optimism, um, the ability to uh, seek out solutions to problems and deal with challenges and maintain balance in your life. And that is huge. That is a massive key to success. Being able to overcome challenges, being able to handle challenges, being able to find solutions to problems. If you put that on a resume that you can do those things, those are key things that any job wants, any college wants, any, anywhere um, comparing you to other people. Those are amazing skills to have. So just having positive thoughts can um, increase your ability to do those things. Okay. Um, now, they also proved kind of the opposite. So they proved that the more negative your thoughts are, the more you produce neurons in the right pre prefrontal cortex of your brain, developing more um, pes pes <laughs> um, negativity, um, uncertainty, um, negative moods, um, all, of the, uh, all of those kinds of things are developed even more. So the more you think positive, the more of a positive person you are, and it's literally because you're growing more, developing more neurons in your brain to um, have that ability. Okay, um, he talks about another study with babies, which is interesting. So one study shows that babies who cried when they were briefly separated from their mothers had a dominant right prefrontal, prefrontal cortex. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so tongue-tied today. So who remembers what the right prefrontal cortex does? Who remembers what the right side does? Hannah? Um, is for the negative thoughts. Yeah, so babies who ride more developed more neurons with the prefrontal cortex, saying that they developed a little bit more basically negativity, right? Um, and then babies who stayed calm had a dominant left prefrontal cortex. Now he does talk about this too. Um, they um, having an increase of neurons in the left prefrontal cortex, um, that growth in activity in that brain area, uh, he said is essential to having a healthy attitude, being open to possibilities, finding solutions and creating success. And that's what we all want. So he's saying, that all you have to do to, to be more skilled in those things is to have more positive uh, self-talk, more positive thoughts, and your brain will develop more neurons in, that, in the left prefrontal cortex um, and give you those skills, which I thought was really cool. Um, okay, and so basically, in either way, whichever area you're focusing your thoughts, um, your brain is going to be more, become more dominant in that area. So if you have more positive thoughts, you're gonna have a, a stronger left prefrontal cortex, right? Um, okay, so he does next talk about the challenges people have with changing. Cause that, just knowing that, knowing that is, is important, but it's being able to make the change and utilize that knowledge, right? So he does talk about a couple challenges, two challenges that a lot of people have with making the change. Um, so number one is, you can't just believe that everything's gonna work out. Like just because I know that this is what I need to do, I need to have positive thoughts, that's not enough. You need to actually um, make it happen. Um, and he calls that responsible thinking. So knowing that you need to have positive thoughts or positive self-talk is different than, um, than saying you're going to do it. And we kind of talked about that yesterday, having the thought of, 
knowing the problem and accepting it is, is harmful, but knowing the solution and putting yourself in that solution is where you're going to become successful. Okay. Um, the second challenge that he talks about is that, um, saying you want to be more positive in the future isn't going to rewire your brain. So just saying, I want to have positive thoughts, that's not going to rewire your brain. It does take a while to rewire your brain. It takes a lot of work. So saying that I'm, I want to have more positive thoughts isn't enough. That's a good step, but you need to make sure that you're replacing your vocabulary. You're replacing your phrases. You're, you're um, making an effort to uh, develop more positive thoughts and rewire your brain. Okay, he talks about a, um, a mental apartment. So picture, everybody picture an apartment building or a house, right? And it's filled with all of your old furniture, okay? So it has a super old, ripped, torn up couch. It has um, chairs that are broken. It has, uh, everything is like crooked on the walls and stained and just really, really old and falling apart, okay? So all of that old furniture uh, is all hand-me-down furniture, whatever, just like the, the wiring that we have in our brain. A lot of that is hand-me-down um, furniture in our brain, our brain apartment, okay? So it's like we said, all of our thoughts, the way our brain is wired is based off of what other people have told us, what we've seen, what we've learned, things like that. So now if somebody helps you take all of that furniture, this is the example he uses. If somebody helps you take all of that furniture out of your a mental apartment, um, that doesn't, that will feel great. You'll have a perfectly clean apartment, but it'll be empty. So what he says, a lot of times you'll slowly start bringing stuff back into the apartment. You'll go out and you'll get the TV or you'll go get the, the, um, the old sofa back because you don't have one and you need to have something there. So, um, and then he gives the example of now, what if I brought you all new furniture? I helped you move everything out and I brought you all new furniture. Now you're going to start using all of the new furniture, right? So the, the whole purpose of that uh, analogy is um, that just because we say we're going to get rid of the negative talk isn't enough. You have to give yourself positive vocabulary to replace it with. You have to start saying positive things to yourself. You have to, to put the new furniture in your brain. You have to put the new thoughts in your brain and in your vocabulary and in your actions, everything you're doing. So you can't just say you want to do it. You can't. Um, you can't, you can decide right now, I'm going to make this change. Um, but you have to start replacing the bad with the good. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, now he also talks about, he said, make sure that you don't pass along your negative thoughts to somebody else. So don't give somebody else your old ratted out furniture. Um, make sure that you get rid of it and you replace it with new furniture. Um, I'm gonna read the little recap at the end of the chapter. He says, just wanting to be a positive thinker is not enough. The human brain says, give me the direction, the commands, the picture, the schedule, and the results that you want, then I will do it for you. Just give me the words. So that's all you guys have to do. That's all all of us have to do is give our brains the new positive vocabulary and phrases and self-talk um, in order to make that change. Okay, does anyone have any questions about chapter 10? We went through that one pretty quickly, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and go through um, chapter 11, because these are both kind of short chapters. So we're gonna go ahead and go through chapter 11. So chapter 11 is talking about self-talk and motivation. So it's a little bit more than just um, self-talk, but this is kind of a funny story. So he was on a talk show. This author was on a talk show, and he gets in there, and he sits down, and the, the speaker says to him, um, he says, are you ready? Uh, are you one of those guys who gets audiences jumping in the aisles and ready to run out and conquer the world? And the author, his name is Shad. He was like, no, I'm not. He's like, in fact, I don't believe in motivation. And it's kind of funny because the guy who was interviewing him had this whole show planned around this guy being a motivational speaker and thinking that was what he was doing was trying to motivate people. And he's not, he says that he doesn't believe in motivation. And that's kind of what this chapter is talking about. Um, he believes in self-talk, not motivation. And he explains the difference. So 
Um, he said he believes there's some really powerful motivation and that's, that some motivation is really important. Um, but 95% of it, he guesses, his, his estimation would be that 95% of most motivation doesn't work. Um, and he has a good explanation of why he believes in that. Um, he does talk about one CEO of a large company that stopped hiring motivational speakers that were not instructional. So who can tell me what motivation is? What do you guys think motivation is? Jonathan? I think it is uh, like uh, when, wait, me? Uh, jo uh, uh, Jonathan Wagner. Uh, to me, motivation is getting someone's or your, your own spirits up. Okay. And then was that, um, Johnny, were you trying to answer that one too? Okay. All right. Who else want to share what they think that motivation is? Okay. I have some background noise. Okay. Um, Rihanna. I think it would be like something that makes you want to do something. Yeah, good. And make sure that you make your computer to get background noise. I hear quite a bit of background noise right here. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Um, okay, Avina. Something you're dedicated to. Something you're dedicated to. Okay, Darius. Eagerness to do something. Okay. Um, yeah, good. Okay, anything else? Let's see, Caleb White. Um, get them to get someone excited. Getting someone excited, okay. And Jordan, I think motivation means like, like making someone's spirit go up and make them, um, like do it. Very good, good, okay. And is that Mr. Logan? Um, what I think motivation is is like when you when you're not sure about something and then. Somebody like makes you want to do it. And okay. That's like motivation. Good, good. And Hannah, you want to add to that? Um, feeling that drive and just wanting to do something so badly. Good, good. So all of you guys had really good explanations of what um of what it is. Um, but the thing that he talks about in here is well, he, I'm gonna read this sentence. He says, um. A motivational talk is like eating Chinese food for lunch. An hour later, you're hungry again. And I thought it's kind of a funny thing, but who has ever eaten even a really big meal maybe, and then they're hungry an hour later again? Who has ever done that, has eaten something and thought they were full, and then just an hour later, they're hungry again? So he kind of talks about motivation like that as something that, um, you know, you can get somebody really, really motivated, really excited to do something, really inspired, really wanting to achieve something, but then five minutes later, it's gone. Or an hour later, two days later, it's gone. So it just doesn't last. Um, he also talks about how, like if you're on a softball team and you have a coach and this coach really inspires you, gets your whole team to want to win the championship, um, that's wonderful and you guys can achieve really big things and everyone's motivated. But then at the end of the season, when you stop seeing your coach, um, you lose the motivation, you lose the drive. Even as a martial arts instructor, we're there, you have instructors there year round, motivating you and exciting you with martial arts. But when you're outside of the karate school, we might motivate you about your grades when you're in class or we're in a gold meeting, but you have to have your own motivation. Because when you're in school, your instructor's not there to be like, um, whoever it is, get your homework done, get your schoolwork done, steady, focus. You have to have the motivation to want to do that yourself. So he talks about the difference of extrinsic motivation. So that's somebody else motivating you. So your instructor, your coach, your teacher, your friend, or your parent, somebody else motivating you and making you want to do something is extrinsic. And extrinsic motivators can go away. So that's something we have to be careful of. Um, and that's why the part of motivation that he doesn't believe in. Um, he believes that in order to motivate yourself, like it, it, um, he talks about um, motivational speakers, like those big conferences where the people go to these massive conferences, they get really pumped up, really, really excited. And then some people are really motivated right then. And then the next day it's gone. Um, and a big part of that is when people come into that, that big 
um, hall or wherever they are for this motivational talk, they're bringing their old programming with them. So their negative thoughts, their negative brain wiring. Now, if you have positive wiring and you hear all these motivators, you might be able to keep them and implement them and put them into your wiring. Um, but all of, whenever you're motivated, your wiring is still the way it is. So if you have negative brain wiring, if you have negative thoughts, negative self-talk, no matter how motivated you are, those are still there. So we have to focus and work really hard on rewiring our brains so that way when we are motivated, it's something that we can make last. Uh, he talks about like if you're managing or leading other people, so if you're um, the captain of your dodgeball team or you're in charge of a group project or you're at work and you're in uh, managing other employees, um, you have to get people to, you have to first help them with their positive self-talk and get them, uh, people following you want to believe in the best, right? But they still have their own conditioning and wiring and programming of their brains um, and their own self-talk. So you have to get them first to have positive self-talk. That way they can um, allow themselves to, to view things in a different way. Um, he does talk about also that a lot of people, most of what we do, we do because we feel like we, there's like a social pressure. We feel like we have to, we should, or we need to. Um, and he even talks about how when people are feeling a lot of those motivators, it's considered stress. So when they feel a lot of, who's ever been stressed before? Yeah, and it's probably because of exactly that. They feel like there's so many things that um, there's external people or um, places that are saying you have to, you need to, you should be doing this. And when you feel too much of that, it can feel overwhelming. Um, but having that, and because you start doubting yourself and you have thoughts of I can't or I won't be able to or things like that. So again, that's all part of our brain programming, being able to change that. Um, he talks about the only type of motivation that lasts is positive self-talk. Um, it creates internal motivation. So it's you wanting to do things for yourself, not for your coach, not for your teacher. You want to get good grades because it's what you want to do, not because your mom said you have to or you're going to be grounded, right? Um, uh, so ha right, the right self-talk can be like your own personal internal coach is what he says. It'll give you the direction to strengthen your will, give you belief, and um, it should become your ultimate motivator. And it is you. So you are that person. You are the one developing that self-talk and all of those things. All right, so that's the end of chapter 11. Does anyone have any questions? Anything they wanna say about chapter uh, uh, 10 or 11? Skylar? Go ahead, Skylar. Um, this is my sixth mat chat. Awesome, I'm glad you're here, Skylar. All right, Johnny Costin. Um, I like, what's your like intentional ear cord thing? Your intentional ear, uh, oh, 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 your uh, prefrontal cortex. That's a piece of your brain. It's a part of your brain. Um, and we talked about, you have two sides of that, that part of your brain, your prefrontal cortex. Um, one part is uh, dedicated to um, being positive, um, giving you um, drive and um, helping you to be successful. Um, the other side is um, negative. So the more negative thoughts, the more you develop the right side, which will result in you being more negative. Um, and the more positive thoughts you have, the more you develop neurons in your left side, which strengthens that part of your brain and helps you to become more positive. Okay, anything else? Any other questions? And thank you, Rihanna, for your round of applause. <laughs> What's your question, Rihanna? So I was basically pre-tested yesterday, and did I earn my purple stripe? So you do have everything. We're not pre-testing until next week. Okay. You're not officially pre-tested just yet. Okay. Good question, though. Okay, let's go ahead then. And uh, Jonathan, do you have a question? Uh, it's not a question, but I have uh, a sheet. Okay, we're going to go over those in a second. Keelan, do you have a question? Okay, all right, so we're going to go ahead and first raise your hand if today was your fifth mat chat. If today was your fifth one. 
Hey, mine was. I got Sarah. I did it two days in a row. You get to say my one. Today was your fifth one. Okay. Um, Mackenzie, I already got you a little while ago, sweetie. Today's not your fifth. Okay, that's awesome. Good. Austin, are you raising your hand? Oh, I got you already, Austin. Um, Jaden, today was your fifth. Hold on, you're muted. Let me unmute you. Okay, go ahead. Um, how do you get your stripe on your belt? Hold on, let's talk about that in a second. Is there anyone else that today is their fifth match at? Mm -mm -mm. Tommy, okay. And I think I already sent you guys a book, Tommy. Um, all right, see, okay. So now let's go ahead and do our stars. So if you have a character building, go ahead and hold that up and we'll go ahead and give you guys credit for those. So let's see um, if you have a character building sheet, hold it up. All right, Jaden, um, how many stars do you have today? I think I have two because I have the karate homework and the character building, the character building sheet four. Very good, everyone clap for Jaden. Good job, Jaden. All right. Um, who else has character building sheets? Jonathan, how many do you have? One. Good. And what one is it? It's a verbal judo. Awesome. Mm. Everybody clap for Jonathan. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah, right now is a really good time to work on those verbal judo sheets. All right. Any, um, anyone else have character building sheets today? Amber and Emily, how many do you guys have? We each have 11. Awesome. And which ones are they? Um, the to-do list, self-discipline, book club, and um, character building one. Good. Everybody clap for them. Good job, you guys. Yeah, if you're doing that chore list, that's seven stars once a week that you guys can get. Make sure you're doing that. A lot of you guys are at home doing all those things. You're doing your schoolwork. You're helping clean around the house. You're getting all those things on there done. Your karate classes, practicing at home. So good, make sure you guys are doing those. Okay. I'll be holding the number six one. Okay, go ahead and hold up your sheets if you have them, guys. Hold up your character building sheets. Do we have anyone else? Anyone else with character building sheets? I'm gonna leave now, goodbye. Thanks, Rachel. Goodbye. Isaiah has a star. Where are you? We have a couple in the amp, but um, Tommy, we're having bad connection. Bye. Okay. All right. So go, you guys go ahead and tell Miss Dana how many you have, and she'll get those for you. You guys can <laughs> announce those in front of the amp. All right. There, uh, oh, I see Miss Aubrey okay. has some. Aubrey, how many do you have? Mm -hmm. Master Luton. Okay, so get that whole score sheet. So Aubrey has seven. Good job, everybody. Clap for Aubrey. Good job, Good job Aubrey. Okay, anybody else have, have character building sheets? Character building sheets? No, but um, did you give me for my fifth match? Okay, everyone's got these first. Okay, everyone has character building sheets. Everyone's done. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Jaden, good question. Goodbye, you guys. If you're getting off, goodbye. Um, what was your question, Jaden? Um, how do you get your stripes on your belt? So in classes, make sure that you're on your live classes. Make sure we had classes yesterday and we had classes Monday. We striped people in every single class. Every single class. We have classes on Saturday also. So 10 a.m. <laughs> your class time on Saturday. Um, or next week you could get Monday and Wednesday. And we are going to start pre-testing next week. So once you are Remember, guys, keep yourself muted, please. Um, uh, once you earn your stripe, we are mailing those over to you, okay? So we mailed out um, a bunch of stripes. A lot of people earned, um, a lot of people have earned all of their stripes, actually. Um, Tigers and Dragons, we are starting to pre-test, and the GUP students, we are starting to pre-test next week. Um, you can earn those in your private lessons as well, um, and the same thing, they'll mail you the stripes. Or you could, uh, well, yeah, they'll mail them to you. Okay, Keelan, what was your question, bud? Um, did, did you uh, give me for my fifth match yet? I did, yes sir, yes sir. Thank you for joining well, us. 
Bye. Bye. All right. Skylar, do you have a question? I don't know. Can she hear me? Yeah, I have it. Um, that unicorn blanket up there? I'm going to have a unicorn party. <laughs> awesome. Unicorn parties are awesome. All right. Yes, Graydon? Um, wait, what? So she missed a couple Since I missed a couple Mac chats, can I, can I, um, are they on YouTube? Yes, they are all on YouTube. So there's actually a playlist. I think I gave your mom the link to the page that has the different playlists. So if you go on there, there's a, uh, has all the videos for Tigers and Dragons in one playlist for beginners, intermediate, advanced, black belt, all those different classes. There's also a playlist for all of the Mac chats. So it has all of them. It has mm -hmm. the dates on them too. But yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Brayden. All right, Landon, do you have a question? Did ahead. you get me from the fifth match chat? Um, I think I got you yesterday, but I will double check. Yes. If you told me yesterday, then yes, I got you. Bye. Bye, Landon. Have a great day. Miss Hannah, do you have a question? Um, I just want to comment. Um, I about today in chapter 11, I was actually learning in my science class. So oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. That's really it's fun when you learn something like in karate and school and they kind of tie together and you're like, oh, I already knew a little bit about that. Good, good. All right, first class. Okay, okay Kayla Bricks. All right, so whenever whenever people are asking questions, can we leave before they can yeah. Leave after yeah. questions, so can we leave before they're done asking questions since we don't have questions? Yes, I uh, sometimes people might ask questions that you have questions, so if you want to hang out, you can, but you can ask them to present with the chapter. I do ask that you stay to celebrate the people who do stars, but then you can go ahead and go. You don't need to stay for questions, you can log off. <laughs> have All a right, bye. Bye, Jordan. Um, so when we get our fifth match at, do we get the same book that we're reading? Yes, you're gonna, we're gonna send you this book, which is the one that we're reading right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, have a great day. Okay, anything else? Bye. Goodbye, Nicholas. All right, you guys will have a great day. I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.